by Bill Landis, Cleveland.com Columbus, Ohio, a complete transcript of everything Ohio State coach Urban Meyer said after the Buckeyes' 38-7 win over Army on Saturday. Urban Meyer, I'd like to thank the Buckeye Nation. Jerry just informed me, 108,000 people showed up after a tough loss a week ago. I can't speak for everybody, but what drives me and drives a lot of our players and our coaching staff is not wanting to let Buckeye Nation down. So, from our heart, thank you for your support again, and it was a beautiful day in the horseshoe against a good football team, a team that just had a nice talk with our players. My father was in the Army. My sister was in the Air Force, spent many times against the Air Force Academy. Played Navy several times. Never been to Annapolis yet. I will. I took my son to West Point, and we stayed in General Blake's house. And they were gracious, took us to the firing range, and just saw some of the coolest things I've ever seen. It's been a bucket list of mine to go do that. It's easy to put your head on the pillow at night knowing that men and women that represent our country, it's awesome. So that was a great experience to play them. It was a pain in the rear end. They had an 18-play, 99-yard drive. They just wear you out. It was 14-7, and our defense, Coach Shiano and the defensive staff, did a great job. And obviously the players. Tough Borland came in and did a heck of a job. And finally just a thought on JT. I've known about the Big Ten Conference for probably 40-some years, and of all the great players that have played here, to say you're the number one touchdown maker in the history of the Big Ten Conference, that's awesome. That's something that, that's going to be a hard one to break. He's got a lot of games left. Much credit to him, and I appreciate him. Questions? Q. Can you describe how difficult this last week was for you, and how much of a necessity having a game like this was psychologically? Meyer, losing is awful. And it was the typical, it's not the first time. I hope it's the last time. But sometimes those things happen. You work really hard not to allow it to happen, and you go through the discomfort of being crushed to extremely angry in self-reflection, what could you have done better? And then you have to somehow pull yourself off the canvas and get going. How do you do that? You do that with your faith, your family and your friends and your teammates. That's why a lot of us have very narrow circles. And mine are just who I mentioned, and most importantly our players. So they did a good job. A guy like Billy Price is a strong guy, and he picks us right off the canvas and let's go. Q. Tough Borland came in, was that a performance issue on Chris Worley's part? Meyer, no, he has a little sprained foot. Tough played fantastic. Q. Do you think that's a position that becomes a competition more so now? Meyer, sure. Worley is a leader, but anybody that plays well gets an opportunity. Q. This wasn't the first time this week that JT's had some adversity or had people question him. He's always seemed to bounce back traditionally throughout his career. What is it about him that allows him to make those plays, make those games come back? And did you have any conversations, notice anything different with him throughout this week? Meyer, the heart of a lion. It's a heart this big. And toughness, one of the toughest players I've ever been around. That's pretty good characteristics to have with a guy touching the ball every snap. QJT was one touchdown down from that record. How aware are you during games, how close a player is to breaking a record like that? And do you think about that, you keep him in longer? Meyer, no, I wasn't aware of that one until I saw it pop up on the screen. Sometimes you will. Not very often, though, like someone will say, I remember Zeke or something, he needs five more yards too, and then you start going through your mind you don't want to embarrass your opponent. You don't want to get a guy hurt. That didn't happen this game, but it's happened before. QJK Dobbins, obviously his first two carries of the second half, 22 and 52 yards, to get you guys some breathing room there. Just what did you see there? What have you seen of him just taking the bit here, his first three games as a freshman?